now and other very very fundamental property which we have to study over here nominal maximum size of the aggregate you know during the sieve analysis as i have explained you again i will make this picture the aggregates are passing from one sieve to the another some are being retained and some are going down that will be repeated again when aggregates are made to pass through the series of sieves some of the aggregates are being retained and some of the aggregate are going down during this process we observed a sieve where more than 10% of aggregate retain ke sam sieve 100% passing other sieve 95% passing ya 98% passing and other sieve where more than 10% of the material is retained maybe 85 maybe 84 maybe 82 any sieve any number to a sieve where more than 10% of aggregate is retained a number of sieve higher than that sieve is known as nominal maximum aggregation n m e s clear you know we need this let me stress on this we need this term n m e s why when i say i need this term why because i am working for the super paved design let me repeat it again we need this why because i am working for the super paved design and this is the fundamental and part of the super paved design of super paved method why it is the fundamental part of the super paved method you know i had already explained in my previous lectures even during the time of the, the introduction that the layer single layer thickness depends on the nominal maximum aggregate size so that's why you can say that layer thickness is equal to 2 or 3 times nominal maximum aggregate size so that is why we need it that if two time or three time sometime i had also seen one literature because the different uh, scientists are giving different approaches here he has written three to four time but some books are saying two to three time depending upon what is the requirement of the other side when you are it is general understood two to three time but as per uh, that uh, engineers comments and that scientists when i see his research paper he is writing four times and he is very very competent man in the uh, field of the asphalt technology is not better to take his name because i have huge respect for him he is arguing that it should be four times so that is why the nominal maximum aggregate size need to be known why three to be known in order to give this one after this when we have uh, described this one you know we have reached to the nominal maximum aggregate size 
next sieve the next sieve higher than n m a s is known as maximum aggregate size maximum aggregate size now i will just uh, draw its pictures for your clear understanding so i have explained you what is the nominal maximum aggregate size and what is the maximum aggregate size when i will make one small picture here you will be having clear your concept you know i am dealing with the asphalt very course here i have one seam suppose 19 mm here 100% material is passing and bottom of this one lower order seam 12.5 mm here 99% material passing i have an other seam here 85% material passing now you see when 85% is passing retain a 10% is more than 10% as per definition next sieve higher than this order is 12.5 it would be taken as nominal maximum aggregate size because it has retained more than 10% the sieve next as per definition of order higher than this is known as the nominal maximum aggregate size but over here no when we go one sieve above than this that is known as maximum aggregate size i hope now you may have uh, clear this concept in your mind that i have taken this sieve and over this sieve 100% passing 99% passing 85% passing here retain is more than 10% it means sieve higher than this it would be taken as uh, our uh, nominal maximum aggregate size and the sieve higher than nominal it would be mas maximum aggregate size it was just very easy but it is very important to understand thank you very much for seeing this if you have any comments please let me know thank you again